Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the new SPTA mini polisher, at least that's what it should be. So, in the box you get quite a few pads. We'll go through soft, medium, hard, microfiber. Get some brushes as well. Interior brush maybe, this one's a bit stiff. And then you get the machine itself. Box within a box. Ah, so it comes in a nice case like the previous one did. You get extension bars with this one, charger, battery, machine itself with a battery attached. Looks like guards. I am going to look at the instructions in a minute just to make sure put it together correctly like usually it's quite straightforward possibly to fit in there so you get two different sized dual action attachments and then you get backing plates you get four sizes This time comes with metal, remember the previous one being plastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look, little look at the instructions. And then go through a little bit more. So after I've had a look at the instructions, we'll go through the machine. Having had the chance to get it out of the box, and have a little look at it. There's quite a few different variations that you can actually use this machine and set up with. Battery setup similar. Battery would have to be removed, placed and charged, and then charged up in that manner. It's not one way you, uh, you need to have the machine plugged in or anything like that, so you could be charging one while using one. You've got a larger DA throw and a smaller DA throw. And you've got two different sets of backing plates. So you've got the smaller thread fits on the smaller one, and a large thread fits on the larger DA throw. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place them on individually and show each one with its different uses. Also, has the rotary function on it, so you can use it as a rotary also. So what I'll do with each one, I'll place it on and show you and then it saves having to put it all together. But it is just a straightforward putting it together. So from here, you twist the, if you wanted it DA, you get the tool, tighten it on. Once that's tight, you can get your backing plate, this one is the larger one. Again, you, you'll get the tool there, but what I'll do, I'll show it like this. Put it on, get the tool, place the tool there, tighten it. Actually, what I will say is, there is guards that you can put on it also. So I'll just remove this quickly. The guard would need to go on before the backing plate. Just notice that. So, guard goes on and twists. So now you've got the guard. 
is how it sits with the card. And then there's actually a gap here. So again, you can get the tool on it. Once the tool's on it, you can get the backing plate. So the backing plate's on now. This the DA function. I'll just put a pad on so you get a better understanding of the workings. So we're placing the pad on. That's on speed one. As a variation. Oh, and you can, it's, you can put a lot of pressure on it and it doesn't cut out or anything. It gets quite warm on the hand, I don't recommend that, but I was just testing it. So this is actually the DA function, where it spins, and also spins in that runner. Show you the other ones. What I'll do, I'll do cuts and I'll show you the other set of tools attached onto it. And then we'll go out and try it. So this is a medium pad on the larger DA. Again, no cutting out or anything like that. Very good powerful machine by the looks of it. We'll only really find out once we're trying it on a vehicle. Again, I'll remove this and I'll put the smaller one on with the smallest plate and then we'll have a little look at the rotary function on it. This is it with the smallest backing plates on it. Very small stove, but idle for smaller areas. And I'll show the rotary function now. Uh, and this is with the smaller one. What I'll do, I'll remove it and I'll show you the size and difference of the guards also. So that one's the smaller guard and this one's the large guard. Simple, simple to replace. So there's the difference with the guard sizes. And Remove this. Could place smaller extension on. Give it a little tighten up. Place the guard on. So now we've got a rotary function. function just having a look at this with the rotary function you got the option of the two smaller backing plates which is the one and a half inch and the two inch and with the DA function you're able to use the three inch and the two inch. As you can see, the thread size is different. So, just show you the longer extension. Longer extensions on. Again, place the two inch. Place the pad on. Get a pad on. And then you've got extension. 
polished some are harder to reach places still with a small top on it small backing plate I think that's included in the packet is you get a machine a small extension bar larger extension bar a large throw slightly smaller throw you get a three inch backing plate for the dual action function you get a two inch backing plate for the dual function a dual action function and then you get two inch for the rotary and also a 1.5 inch for the rotary and you get soft brush and quite a stiff brush with small and large guard and you get a nice amount of pads so you won't need to buy pads for a little while unless you're using it day in day out day and night quite a few pads included so you get hard medium soft and an array of microfiber pads different versions of them so the two inch you get five of each apart from the microfibers where you get two of each the one and a half inch you get five of each again and again with the microfibers you get two and then with the large three inch size you get two of each of them so time to go and test it really and the battery is damp so it's going to be hard to show but just put in a little bit of Meguiar's ultimate compound on just going to show you the actual pressure you can put on the machine so it's on level one don't actually stall as you can see the actual bonnet you wouldn't want to put that much pressure on but just showing how much pressure you can actually put on again you don't get no cut out issues what we'll do we'll do a look. again no issues with pressure Supplying pressure, and I'll do it with the rotary also. Again, you can apply a nice bit of pressure to it, and it's all okay. A lot more powerful than a previous version. So it's a bit hard to get myself in and the camera, but I'll try. We're not going to get all the marks in this area out just in this little video. It's just like a little test patch that we're going to do. So I always manage to put a bit too much compound on. It's always hard to judge. Put a little bit of film on. Turn it down to one. Let's see if I can fit in here. that little time just going over it don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera but if you spend your time and you get in there without a camera in your way you can make all door shots and everything come up beautiful especially if you're doing an expensive vehicle 
ideal tool to have. So having had the chance to give it a little going over and having a little test with it, what I can say is if you like the previous one, you're going to love this one. This one's a lot more powerful. Put as much pressure as I could on it, on the bonnet, as you'll see in the video. You actually see the bonnet bowing and stuff and didn't show no signs of stopping or anything. So it's got a lot, lot more power than the previous one. It's quite a nice design. Easy to place on. Lock button. I would recommend it. I'm going to go and have another play with it. Um, hopefully within the next week or so I'm going to be doing a headlight restoration and instead of getting a, the wired one out or anything I'm going to be using this one to restore the headlights so look out for that video. Thank you for watching.